Former U.S. Secretary of State Colin Powell has died from COVID-related complications. The decorated general was the first African-American to serve as the country's most senior diplomat. The 84-year-old was fully vaccinated. Saddam Hussein and his regime have made no effort, no effort, to disarm as required by the international community. Colin Powell later said he regretted the words for which he is perhaps best remembered. Making the case for invading Iraq in 2003, he relied heavily on highly questionable intelligence reports which wrongly claimed Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein possessed weapons of mass destruction. He was appointed Secretary of State by US President George W. Bush in the year 2000, the first African-American to serve in the role. Born in Harlem to Jamaican immigrant parents in 1937, Colin Powell was also the first African-American and the youngest soldier to serve as chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the most senior military position in the US. In that role, he oversaw the United States-led coalition's victory over Saddam Hussein's Iraq in the 1991 Gulf War. The US government today paid tribute to the man and his career. The world lost one of the greatest leaders that we have ever witnessed. Earlier in his career, Colin Powell completed two tours of duty in Vietnam. He investigated a soldier's account of the My Lai atrocity in which over 500 Vietnamese, mostly women and children, were massacred by American soldiers. Powell controversially said excellent relations between the US Army and Vietnamese civilians disproved the soldier's account. He served under four US presidents, from Ronald Reagan to George W. Bush, but while he is mostly associated with Republican administrations, he backed Democrats from 2008 after Barack Obama ran for office. Colin Powell's family said today that he had died from COVID-19 complications, although he was fully vaccinated. He is survived by his wife Alma and three children.